Okay, so Julia, firstly, tell us how you got involved with Rocket Man. Well, luckily, I'd worked with Dexter Fletcher, the director, when he was when, as an actor, and then he brought me onto um, another project, uh, another biopic, and then from that we we all went on to Rocket Man, which was great because he's fantastic. He's a fantastic director and a and a, a good person to be around. Yeah. Which, if you've met him, I've met him previously. You, yeah, yeah. So you know how funny he is, he's and and lovely. and you know he was so perfect for this because it was a you know larger than life project, mm -hmm. you know fancy musical, and he 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 said from the offset, you know, I want you to push it as far as you can, go as far as you can, and then we can always bring it back. But as I say, we never stopped we just carried on so it was good yeah so how much um, access did you have to Elton's actually costume archives well luckily I was kindly invited to go to see his archives which are in London and um, and he's you know he's obviously sold some uh, uh, auctioned some off for, for charity um, but there's still a huge collection um, so it's great to see his shoes um, hats um, you know the stage costumes, you know, um, normal everyday clothes, you know, and, it, and it's a huge archive. It's incredible. I mean, it's it's all been catalogued, and you know, because it's 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 quite incredible. Yeah, it really you know, the, is. Yeah. You know, he's known for his clothes, um, amongst <laughs> other things. But you know, yeah. clothes are something that are a real passion for him, and glasses. Mm. Yeah, well, it makes up his persona, doesn't it? Really? Absolutely, yeah. It makes up who he is. Yeah. Red Wyatt. Um, so yeah, I mean, you also you made some of these from scratch, didn't you? They're not they're all, all and this, they're all made from scratch. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. They yeah. were, um, Pretty much. But they're not all carbon. They're not carbon copies either that There's, you put your own. Oh, on. absolutely. Yeah. Well, it has to be as. You know, Dexter said, you know, I've done biopics in the past where we've we've recreated original, we you know what they originally wore. This was not that type of film. It, it was completely different from anything else. And that's why I love doing it. That's why I really wanted to do it because, you know, I've done other biopics and they were fantastic, but this I really wanted to do. You know, the combination of Sir Elton, the idea that we could design our own, I could design my own outfits, and Dexter, I mean, it's a, you know, and, and Taron wearing them, it's a winning combination. So you basically, you had like free reign to do what you wanted. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. As I, I say, to do it. he said, push it as far as you can, and, mm. and we did. That's brilliant. Uh, it's also, there was like over 85 costumes, is that yeah, right? Yeah, absolutely. Was there any point you that, thought this is just too much? For, <laughs> that's just for Elton. If you oh, think God, about, yeah, yeah. you've got the hundred yeah. other characters, you've got all the crowd, you know, there were thousands and thousands of costumes. Mm. Obviously people want to know about the Elton costumes, but you know, there was quite a few that I had to design and, and, mm. and make and for other people. I mean, how big was your team? Because it's obviously you weren't doing it all by yourself. But, uh, <laughs> I worked very long hours <laughs> into the night. No, I mean, I think we had a team of about, you know, 40 or 50 people, mm. you know, not, not permanently, but you know, we had, you know, people to come in and dress the crowd and, um, you know, I, I like to try and keep an eye on every single costume that goes on the on screen. Mm -hmm. So we, we'd have, um, you know, um, groups where they'd send me the pictures if I wasn't there and I'd okay them and if not I'd say, oh, change that jacket or change those shoes. So I'd, I oversee every single costume that goes on the screen. Okay, and there's, uh, there was also a lot of... Um Schwarzkopf. I can never say That's the one crystals in it. I mean, were they hand stitched on, or was there like you, you use like a I don't know how you the you gun type thing. You hot fix it on. Okay. So um, they've got adhesive on the back. Mm -hmm. I, I was kindly invited to their um, their Austrian headquarters and, and had a tour of the whole process of how they're made and, and and but yeah, they're all they've all got glue on the back of their hot fix. So you you have a heat press and you 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 you. Um, press them down like the devil costume which I think has only about 140,000 um, <laughs> they were all originally going to be actual um, decals that you could just put on as one yeah. but there was a few things that weren't quite right so they every single crystal is you know if you if, if it was here you'd see it every single crystal was put on by hand wow. um, and it we actually for various reasons we only had a week to do it and it was just Ooh. by the skin of its teeth, we got it done. Wow. You know, you That's actually one of my favourite costumes as well. The mine too. One. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to watch you, which one? Was, well, okay, so what one was, say, your favourite to do, which wasn't a pain in the backside? <laughs> um, well, they all come with their, their own mm -hmm. um, stories. 
Um, you know, the, the devil is fantastic. It's so dramatic. It opens the film and almost sort of ends the film. And it's, you know, it, it um, appears throughout the film. So, you know, it's, it has most screen time. And um, it was the first one I ever designed. It was the first costume I designed. So, you know, it means quite a lot to me. And, and you know, it's, it's a fun costume as well. It's playful. You know, the idea that, it's, you know, he's this devil appearing in this, you know, this uh, uh, group of sort of misfits. And so, you know, he stands out. Obviously, I designed it that every everybody in the rehab was wearing grey, black or white. Um, yeah. So he would stand out, you know, the idea that you somehow have to um, shed who you were before. But, you know, he comes in in this in this magnificent devil's outfit. So it's yeah. one of my favourites. Yeah, because the, the actual costumes, they also sort of, they're like, a, they're like a song in a way, the way that they appear on screen. It's like a crescendo starting off in the 70s and then, you know, this big flamboyant phase and then, you know, ending out in quite the subdued, the darks and stuff. And did you have um, a, a big say in the way that that went? Or it's well, I think with 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 anything in life, you know, you you, you it's it's uh, sometimes it's one person's idea, sometimes it's my idea, sometimes it's, you know we sit the <laughs> film making a film is sort of um, quite interesting because it's sort of um, very organised and very disorganised at the same time. So you'll sit down and you'll have chats with the production designer, the director, the you know the music everybody sits around and discusses you know um what happens in the film but at the same time sometimes when we start filming everybody's going off to their different you know places so you have to make decisions you obviously have to tell people what you're doing but some of the decisions that i had to make i had to just make them so yeah. it, it it just depends on 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 different things but it's 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 a very interesting process and finally, what would be your ideal uh, film to work on next? Because you've done quite a lot of stuff. <laughs> um, I have done quite a lot. I mean, I have to say, and I'm not just saying it because we're sat here talking about it, but <laughs> Rocket, Man, Rocket Man was one of my favourites. So okay. Rocket Man 2. No, I'm joking. <laughs> um, what would I... Um, that's such a difficult question to... Um, there's plenty of films that I'd like to have designed, mm -hmm. like things like The Godfather, or um, um, you know um, any of Hitchcock's films. Mm -hmm. uh, I've actually just finished a film, and I'm just about to start another film. But you know, every bro every project I think is exciting in it for its own, you know, for what it what it brings to the screen really. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!